Now for these questions, we're multiplying two multiples of 10, so two numbers that end in a zero. So we don't need to use column method to solve these. Instead, we can use mental methods. So for 60 times 60, we know that 6 times 6 is 36. So 60 times 60 is 3,600. That's because 6 times 6 is 36, but then because we have a total of two end zeros in the question, we need two end zeros in the answer. So 60 times 60 is 3,600. Now for 40 times 90, we know that 4 times 9 is 36, so 40 times 90 is 3,600. Because we do 4 times 9, and then because there are two end zeros in the question, we need two end zeros in the answer, so that's 3,600. Now, 80 times 50. We know that 8 times 5 is 40. So 80 times 50 is 4000. That's because 8 times 5 is 40. But then because there are two end zeros in the question, we need two end zeros in the answer. Now it looks like there's three end zeros here. But remember, this zero we got by multiplying the non-zero digits. So we got this zero because 8 times 5 is 40. But then we counted two end zeros in the question. So we needed two zeros after the 40. So 80 times 50 is 4,000.